Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Soma. Um, and to all of you that keep coming back, hello and welcome back. Quick reminder, if you've never subscribed, just to remind you to click that red button there that says subscribe. And after that, click the bell sign. That way you get notification whenever I upload a new video. Um, so, um, like I promised you guys yesterday, I told you guys that um, when it happens, I will show you guys more stuff. And so today, um, like I told you guys, it was going to happen. My video has been taken down by by Pastor Chris. You can see there on the screen, it is called, um, it is taken down by Pastor Chris Digital Library. And you can see there it says um, video taken down. And like I told you guys, YouTube has told me what to do when they go ahead and do it. And I'm already following the process. So I don't want to say too much about it because, you know, I don't want to be like, all over the place. I don't want to like be all over the place and all of that. Like, you know, or I don't want to do like, I don't want to say too much about all of those things. For those people that said, oh, she's making it up. It's not true. You know, some people, somebody was like, you're too small. You're too small. Who are you? You know, Christ embassy does not even know you. You exist. You're not. They're like, so people claim that I was making it up. Okay. So you guys are free. There it is. Pastor Chris digital library. And if you know Christ embassy, you would know that they this um, uh, Pastor Chris Digital Library is belongs to Pastor Chris. So, and I've said, if you send your domestic staff to go do something and they go do it, they are representing you. So, what, or if you send your driver to go do an errand, that you are the one. If you send your driver to go deliver a message, you are the one delivering the message. So, at the end of the day, is Chris or Yahilome that took my video down? Okay, it's Chris or Yahilome that took my video down. Like I said, I will follow this through. I will follow it through. Now, I'm going to just hint, uh, talk a bit, a bit more about, you know, what some people, you know, some people have taken it into this a big argument or whatever. I have never made any video and said that I know the Bible more than anybody. You know, to, I claim to know the Bible more than anybody. I always say it, like, true Christians should, you know, discuss the Bible together, whatever point you see. I'd be like, oh, have you seen this? And that's what it's supposed to be. People are supposed to share what knowledge they gain from the Bible. Like I said, anybody that claims to, you know, I know it all, they're lying to you. The only one that knows it all is God himself. The only one that knows it all is God himself. I shared from what I know, you know, from what I know from the Bible, that um, to, to, to show you guys that what Pastor Chris was saying was incorrect, was unbiblical, and which is true. Okay, and sometimes our people have issues with words. When you say something is, people are like, oh, why did he say that he's preaching it? That what he said was nonsense. I said it's nonsense, not an insult. It, is, it was a statement of fact. And what is nonsense? Spoken or written words that have no meaning or make no sense. What he said in that video didn't make any sense. And that was a statement of fact. But the problem is people feel like, oh, it's Pastor Chris. You know, in their eyes, it's like this mighty man. He is not, he doesn't know it all. He doesn't know it all. That's one. Secondly, People are arguing up and down. Some have said this, some have said no. I didn't say. I'm saying what the Bible says. And then the bone of contention is this. Chris Oyahilume said that after God made man, before woman, after God made man, God said that everything was very good. And I showed you guys from the Bible. No. The Bible showed us, shows us that God didn't make that statement that everything was very good until woman was already in existence. That is the bone of contention. And some people are like, oh, Shema didn't talk about um, Genesis 2. You know, Shema didn't talk about Genesis 2. Chris Oyahilome preached from Genesis 1. Okay? Genesis 1. And he read Genesis 1, 31. And I showed you guys that he skipped all the way from 26 down. That explained more. That showed that woman was already in existence before God made that comment in 31. But even if you go to Genesis 2, Nowhere. That statement he made is not in Genesis 2. It wasn't in Genesis 2 that God said that everything was very good. You know? So Genesis chapter 1, that was what he quoted. Not Genesis chapter 2. But even if you go to chapter 2, people are saying, oh, and then God, after God made Adam, you know, Adam was lonely. I haven't seen where the Bible said that Adam was lonely. No. Adam was alone. Alone. Being lonely and being alone are two different things. And then God said, if you look at your Bibles, and the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. Okay, now, there is nowhere in the Bible that said God realized. God was an afterthought. Because God said it is not good for a man to be alone, does not, necess does not mean that he only realized. It does not mean that he realized. Okay? It's like your grandmother telling you, don't cross the road without looking two sides. 
It's not a realization. It's a statement of fact. When God said it is not good for man to be alone, that was a statement of fact. It was not a realization. Nowhere that he said God realized and God thought about it and God, you know, remembered that he should have made the well, No. God said, he is stating, God is stating that it's not good for man to be alone. So how are you going to make up your mind that God did not already make up his mind from day one that he's going to create woman? So we cannot be making it up. We cannot be trying to say what was going on in God's mind. And I've asked that question and nobody's answering. If God made all the other creatures in pairs of male and female version, tell me why would he be making humans only in the male version? That is one. And secondly, I said it in that my video. I said the way Adam was designed from day one. So another question I've asked, those that are arguing and arguing, they have asked the question and they can't answer it, right? Okay, if Adam was made without the plan of making a woman, okay, why has Adam designed the way he's designed? Why are male and female designed the way they are designed? Why? Why are they designed the way they are designed? Let's not forget that there's nowhere in the Bible that said that when if those of you that feel God now had an afterthought and then he now created the woman. If it was an afterthought, then him, if it was an afterthought, so that means he would have maybe had to remake Adam. Because, okay, yeah, I didn't make him with the plan of making a woman. So let me redesign him to suit a woman. These are the things that people are just saying. You know, I've said it before. Because you do, we do not have an answer. Because you do not have an answer to whatever questions you have on your mind. Does not give you the right to start making up stories to suit what you think or what you, you want to believe. Adam was designed from day one with a woman in mind, if you know what I mean. So how are you guys going to explain that? And I've asked the same question again. When God created all the creatures in pairs, tell me why would God create them in male and female version and never had the mind or the intention of creating humans in the same female and female version? That is a question I've asked them. But they don't have an answer. Anyway, so like I said, the bone of contention is this. Chris Oyakilome said that God, already, God made man and everything was already very good. You know, and I said that is incorrect. If we go by the Bible, that comment in Genesis 1.31 was not before woman was created. It was after woman was created that God said that everything was very good. Why, didn't, why did he go to 31 and skipped all of those things that would, have made 20, that would have made 31 to make more sense? You know, these are the questions this book can't answer. They are not answering these questions. Why skip? And then, let me tell you, no pope, no pastor, no bishop, no reverend, nobody not, has the right to use the Bible to twist the Bible or skip or rearrange it to suit whatever they want to say. We, 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 you know, to, we can't rewrite the Bible. Is it that we use it the way it is or we leave it alone? It's as simple as that. It is as simple as that. You know, some people are like, oh, you shouldn't say it. I, I'm, I'm a YouTuber. I, YouTube, I have a YouTube channel. If you look at my channel, I talk about different things. It's not only church things I talk about. And I'm not the only one that does it. There are a lot of, you know, new, a lot of the people talk about whatever is the news or whatever is trending or whatever is going on in social media. Everybody contribute their opinion. And I come here and I contribute according to the knowledge of you know, what I know from the Bible, I don't, I always say this, what, what I know from the Bible, I contribute, when I even see tomorrow I will talk about a politician, or to another day I talk about, you know, uh, a celebrity or whatever, you know, so I, I, I'm like every other person, you know, only that my way of addressing the churches may be different, because of you know, how I like to use the Bible to explain what I want to say. Oh, it's none of your business. He can say what he wants. Da, 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 da. And the question, this is what we're talking about our Christianity. You know, if your own earthly father, if somebody was to come out and lie against your earthly father or misrepresent your earthly father, a lot of people will not take it lightly. They will do whatever they have to do to speak up and be like, no, my father didn't say that. No, I'm not going to stand here and let you say what my father didn't say. This, uh, then we can do that with our earthly fathers. But then our heavenly father, somebody is coming out and misrepresenting him or saying things that do not represent what he said or what is written in the Bible. And everybody is keeping, everybody feel like, hey, we shouldn't talk about it. And then who do you value the most? Do you then value your earthly father more than your heavenly father? Where do you place your priority? This is the question. It's easy to be like, oh, I don't want to talk a little bit. Well, well, why is she talking about it? What she talking about? All I did was come to let people know. Chris Oyalime can say what he wants to say. All I wanted to say to people is that look here. Look at this part of the Bible. He skipped this one. Take note of this. I have said it and I'll say it again. His video, those of you that saw his video, you know, he talked down on women. He degraded women. That video 
does women no favors. And coming from a country where women are treated so badly, a country where women are not valued, there are so many things. Women are still fighting for so much. Every day we talk about the violence against women all the time. We talk about it so much. We, what women go through in marriages. And somebody like him, with the platform he has, comes out and make a video as damaging as that. And everybody sit down and relax, you know, because you just, there are, they, do you know how much damage that can do? Everybody, oh, leave it alone, leave it alone. How do you sit back for things like that you know we wait until something happens to us personally before we see the need to talk about it i'm gonna i'm still trying to get my video back and when my video goes back you can all check it out he went on to talk about how husband is master and all of this is, there is nowhere in the bible that tries to that tells us that you know a, a, a man is supposed to be a lord over a woman a man is supposed to be the instead the bible talks so much about how much a man should love his wife as christ loved the church some people try to ignore the meaning of that the love that christ has for the church is is a big it's big love it's like i don't even know how to explain it he didn't focus on that he focused on the lordship of a man in his marriage and the bible verse supports the idea of a man lording over his wife the bible tells the woman what to do submit submit uh, to each other woman a wife submit husband love your wife and all of this and but his message you know a lot of this and i've said it that more people play their parts Marriages will be amazing. If one person or both people do not play their parts, marriages will struggle. And people said it in that video. Some people like, Sarah called her husband Lord. Husband, Sarah called her husband Lord. And I said, that is her choice. No Bible verse said women have to call their husbands lords. A lot of Nigerian women call their husband whatever they want to call them. In our culture, women call their husbands whatever. You are free to call your husband lord if you want to. There's nothing wrong with that if you want to. So people call their husbands honey and sugar or whatever they want to call. It is a choice. Like I said in that video, I said, Sarah, guess what else Sarah did? Sarah gave her maid to her husband. Are we going to do the same because Sarah did it? Are we all going to do the same? You know, I just wanted to come here and just touch on it because some people are just, I don't want to say too much about all these things and I don't want to say too much about the process, you know, about, you know, this. I have started the process of getting my video back and I said, like I said, I'm going to take this thing to the last step. I will take it to the last step. After they making steps to get my video back, and um, I'll let you guys know how I get on. I'm, I don't want to say too much about it. I seriously don't want to say too much about it. But I'll definitely keep you guys updated. But for those people that were saying she's lying, you know, who are you? You're too small. Christ embassy does not even know you exist. All these things she's saying, she's making them up. At least I've shown you guys. And it's, I told you guys yesterday that I'll show you guys when it's done. I'll show you guys who did it. And that's all I have to say about this video. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll let you guys know uh, what's going on. And with that, I'm just going to say thank Thank you for watching until the next time guys bye bye bye